Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, hot, 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 90 for the foreseeable future today through what looks to be Saturday or Sunday. Uh, looks dry today, looks really hot and dry uh, for Southbound and Dublin Deck and Alive on the River uh, tomorrow. Stay in Patchogue. hydrated, people, stay hydrated. It's going to be a hot one. Yeah, no hoodie necessary tomorrow at <laughs> oh, Dublin Deck. Dear. Yeah. And uh, by the you, side note, I bought a hoodie while on my cruise, Candy. Of course you did. I'm still where I told you I have my T-shirts. I think they were two for 20 at the time. I'm not even kidding uh, that I still wear as 90s from my cruise, too. Well, you know, what's funny is and we're going to I don't want you to think it's all about me today. We're oh, gonna, dear. We're going to get to you. Um, I did not like the clothing selection in the Royal Caribbean shop on board. I wasn't thrilled with it either. I mean, not the Royal Caribbean one where I was, and I wasn't that thrilled with it either. Years ago, I got a couple of shirts like you did, uh, and I thought they were cool looking. I uh, did not see any I liked. I bought a hat. I did buy an Oasis of the Seas hat, which I liked very much. Um, I also got one I didn't even tell him yet. He'll, he'll hear listening to the show. Uh, I bought an Oasis of the Seas hat for my father. Nice. It looked like the type that he would really enjoy and wear. So I thought I'd make what him a part of it. What did you get me on that cruise? What did uh, you buy me? Just, I thought of you. I thought mm, of you. Yeah, that's and, what I thought. And how much you would love to be there with me on the balcony. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, but I bought a hoodie at Ron John's Surf Shop in Florida. Oh, my kids love Ron John's. We used yeah. to go there all the time. So it's funny, because when we got off the ship that day to go visit my friend Murph, who's in Florida, he took us to Ron John, and we thought... We might have been one of the few people who had the idea to go to Ron John, right? So we come back. We got everyone got a hoodie. Me, Leah, and Abigail each got the same hoodie. We love it. It's so so good looking. And throughout the next three or four days, we saw so many people on the ship with Ron John uh, shirts. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so many. Uh, so Candy yesterday was. Happy to hear about my vacation story. I think you were genuinely interested. Of course, but you do go on. Well, it was my first day back. I had a lot to say. I don't think you've said it all. We barely I, got to anything. Well, I mean, my let me start this way. You may ask me questions, um, things I may have forgotten about. You know, there's a lot to delve into. Maybe I have to sit down and make a list. But more importantly, oh my goodness. more importantly, right now, I want to focus on you <laughs> because you got a little snippy yesterday. You said you had a lot to tell from the weekend. <sighs> and it was your birthday when I sailed on July 8th. Yes. And I want to know what's going on in Candyland. Please. What's happening? Uh, well, I told you I had a great birthday weekend. I went out with my girlfriends for lunch on that Friday. I went out with Brian for sushi on Saturday. Then I met up with my kids on Sunday for another brunch, and it was great. It was great to see everybody. I felt very loved. I got beautiful cards. Uh, just great. It's great when you know you're loved. Do you know what I mean? That was nice. Very nice. Yeah. So I uh, really appreciated that. It really worked out nicely. I'm very proud of my little family that I've created here, and uh, we had a really good time. That's all I got. See, mine's nice, quick, and easy. Oh, I thought there was some big doings over there. There was no big doings. Uh, we're getting ready for the baby shower at the end of the month. Um, everything's going well with that. The week that you were away, it seemed long. I'm going to say yes, it seemed long. Oh, it was hard to get by without me. I it understand. was hard. To, well, I got to sleep a little later because mm -hmm. we gather early to discuss. Um, but yeah, no, I missed you. Oh, honey, that is nice to hear. Until you came back, then I said, "Oh." I know he does go on how how he does. Oh my God, <laughs> does he ever? How he does we'll chat. We'll talk about this cruise for the rest of our lives. Well, for God's sake. Look, every so often I may have to reference a situation because there's so much. Like, That's so, like I didn't hear the in-laws. Like, what did they do? What was fun? What was the best thing you saw? No, I'm hearing them. We got to go to the beginning of the line. We didn't have any oh waiting. Oh, my God. I'm so great. I had the best <laughs> suite in the whole boat. It was so good. I'm going to go again next year. I'm getting the same thing, even uh... though I... 
You're killing me here. Please. We could All have right. a summer house at the shore for the rest of our lives on what you're spending on that. My, that's another story for another day. My in-laws had a great time. And some people may think to themselves, how could you spend a week living in a, in a cabin on a ship with your in-laws? And my answer is, we get along very well, Candy. You we, do. We have a great relationship. Much like the one my son has with his in-laws. It reminds me very much it's the same sort of thing. Now, it um, helped that Dana and I lived in their basement. That does help. For six years or so. I can't believe it was six years. We <sighs> we had two children down there. Yes, yes, well, you did. Not, well, we not know what that. you were doing down there. We had two children while living in the basement. Um, and, you know, there was a relationship created. As you know, my mother-in-law, while well, Dana and I went to work, my mother-in-law watched uh, Leah and Abigail. And uh, so I'm able to go on a cruise with them and uh, and spend a week living in the same room. I it think it's fantastic. And they had a blast. I mean, you know, my mother-in-law, from time to time, she would, she would disappear and... Uh, would say, you know, so where, where'd she go? And she, she would just walk the promenade deck five with all the shops and stuff. She liked to walk I the shops. I love that too. I do. I love that too. It's funny because I thought of you at that time and I said, you yeah. know, I bet Candy would really would, enjoy that. Yeah, I would. I do love that. Yeah. And they did have their alone time. Like when we went off the boat in Florida, they stayed on the ship, the two of them. I wonder and what they did. There were plenty of times that, uh, you know, the two of them went off to the pool and had uh, fun, a nice time together and, you know, sat in the hot tub or went swimming and whatever. And, um, yeah, you know. I'm surprised you didn't have your own private hot tub. Uh, no, no. Uh, listen. <laughs> yes, we had a suite. Yes, we had first class or as they call it, star class service. Oh. However. Our cabin did not have a hot tub. It was not the biggest cabin on the ship. It what? Was, it wasn't the one, you know, there's these Royal Caribbean commercials. They show these double-decker loft family suites. That That is not what we had. Oh, well, you got you to gotta move up. We move had, up in this world. We did have a two-bedroom suite. But Lovely. I will tell you that the two-bedroom suite with the living room combined did not equal uh you know uh, you know like when we go to Mohegan in the size of a hotel room like a regular of course. hotel right you're still on a ship right it was probably uh with the balcony and everything it was probably one and a half Mohegan rooms as opposed to having a you know two what's well, called a two bedroom that's suite that's the uh, downfall with with cruising cuz yeah your accommodations are definitely smaller than if you would be going to a five-star hotel. Yes, but it was big enough. We had because we did have a living room space, which was nice. We did have two bedrooms and the balcony. I'll say it again: the you're paying for the balcony. The balcony hey, I is won't the highlight. do it without a balcony, and you had a really nice one. So I'm glad yeah. you're back safe. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you had a good time. One of my questions would be. They show and shove so much food at you from morning, noon till night. And, you know, I love food. I know you love to eat. And you do have to be somewhat restrictive. What did you do? Yeah, no, you get very full. Uh, there are meals you sit down for and you say to yourself every day, you say to yourself. Right, you say, come on now, piggy. Right, what am I doing? Why am I here right now? I mean, honestly, you start to question all things with the world. Like, you know, you go through the, let's say, the breakfast buffet, right? Mm -hmm. And you pick your favorite things, and after you're there for a day or two, you kind of know what you like and you don't like, right? Mm. I like bacon. So every day I'd have a couple of slices of bacon, a cup of coffee, and a miniature croissant. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So our breakfast, when you had a suite, there's a special restaurant called the Coastal Kitchen. And it's uh, serve. It's not a buffet. It's uh, you know they make your stuff fresh. It's service waiter waitress service whatever. Um, I had uh, eggs Benedict and lox and cream cheese almost Ooh. almost every day. And you know uh, coffee. Uh, actually, I had my coffee in the room. I told you we got Starbucks mm -hmm. delivered to the room. Um, so yes, you get into a a a, uh, a routine, if you will, candy. Right. But by there are certain dinners. I'd have to say a few of the at least three of the dinners I sat down at dinner and questioned why I was even at dinner. 
you because right. you're so full. There's food all right. around you all day long. You're eating lunch. I'm having sushi, a uh, giant sushi lunch at two o'clock, then sitting down at seven o'clock for dinner. I was not hungry. It was, right. you know, there. Yes, there's a lot of that. A lot of that. Uh, and you start to uh, question. Oh, I will. T- we're gonna get into something in the next break. Some people don't question. Did you watch anybody around you eating? Yeah. I was amazed <laughs> yes. at the amount of food people well, eat. No matter how full I was, I always went to the meal. I always, I always. But had you know meal. what I'm saying? There's yes. always those people, and they sit down, and I am. Amazed. Yes. yes, I'm probably one of those. There's probably people <laughs> looking at me. All right, you know what? I'm going to tell you uh, two stories when we get back at 747. Special song at 730. Uh, less than an hour to your bald and the beautiful entertainment at 812. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Hot, hot, hot. In the 90s for the rest of the week. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.